Hello children. This is Mrs. Reema Odani once again. I am sure all of you are safe and healthy. I am sure you must have read a book or two by now. Do share with me their names and why you choose to read that book when we meet. Today we are going to learn about our vast solar system. Doesn't that sound exciting? I am excited. Are you? So fasten your seat belts and let's take the tour of our solar system. Today we are going to study the first chapter of geography that is the earth in the solar system. Humans have always been fascinated gazing at the night sky. Those who study the celestial bodies and their movements are, are called astronomers. Aryabhata was a famous astronomer of ancient India. Let's know more about our solar system now. You see a nursery rhyme on your screen. We all know this nursery rhyme. We have all been mesmerized by the twinkling stars. When was the last time you gazed at the sky? To start with, you would see one or two bright dots shining in the sky. Gradually, the number would increase. They are infinite, meaning you cannot count them. The whole sky is filled with tiny, shiny objects, some bright, others dim. It seems that the sky is studded with diamonds. All appear to be twinkling and flickering and flickering. But not all glow. Some simply glow without any flicker, just as the moon shines. Along with the other bright objects in the sky, you must have seen the moon too. Isn't it beautiful? So beautiful that many songs have been composed to praise its glory and glow. It appears at different times in different shapes and at different positions. You will be able to see the full moon only once a month. It is also known as Purnima. And as many of you know, the moon has a lot of significance in various religions too. After a fortnight, the moon is not visible at all. It is called a new moon night or Amavasya. You must have heard of some scary stories associated with it. On your screen, you will see the moon along with the different shapes and names. Let's acquaint ourselves with some terms before we start. What are celestial bodies? The sun, the moon and all those objects shining in the night sky are called celestial bodies. What are stars? Some celestial bodies are big and hot. They are made up of gases and they have their own light and heat. Example of a star is the sun. Constellations. What are constellations? Various patterns formed by different groups of stars. Some examples of co constellations are the Ursa Major or Big Bear. What are planets? Planets are celestial bodies who do not have their own heat and light. They are lit by the light of the stars. Example of a planet is our own Earth. Constellations Ursa Major is a constellation. The Big Bear, Big Dipper, also called the Plough in the UK, is a part of the Ursa Major constellation. Saptarishi or Seven Sages is another constellation forming a part of the Ursa Major. Saptarishi with the seven stars representing seven rishis name, namely Vashishta, Marichi, Pulastya, Pulaha, Atri, Angiras and Kratu.
in ancient times people used to determine directions during the during the night with the help of stars the north star also known as polaris or pole star indicates the north direction it always remains in the same position in the sky we can locate the position of the pole star with the help of saptarishi you will notice that if an imaginary line is drawn joining the pointers starts and extend it further it will point to the pole star on your screen on your left hand side you see a demonstration of how we can find out the north star planets there are eight planets in our solar system in order from the distance from the sun they are mercury venus earth mars jupiter saturn uranus and some celestial bodies do not have their own heat and light they are lit by the light of the stars that is what we term as planets the word planet comes from the greek word planetai which means wanderers earth is earth is also a planet it gets its heat and light from the sun sun is our nearest star here is an easy way to remember the names of the planets just remember this line my very efficient mother just just served us nuts the first alphabet of every word represents the name of the planet in order of the distance from the sun mercury venus earth mars jupiter saturn uranus and neptune an interesting fact for you jupiter saturn and uranus have rings around them these are belts of small debris these rings may be seen from the earth with the help of a powerful telescope let's know more about the planets mercury is the nearest planet to the sun it takes only about 88 days to complete one round along its orbit Venus is considered as Earth's twin because its size and shape are very much similar to that of the Earth. Till August 2006, Pluto was also considered a planet. However, in a meeting of the International Astronomical Union, a decision was taken that Pluto like other celestial objects may be called a dwarf planet. Now you would ask me what is a dwarf planet? a planet that is smaller than the others and much larger than a satellite or moon can be called a dwarf planet all the eight planets of the solar system move around the sun in fixed paths these paths are elongated they are orbits thank you so much for listening to me and watching the video this is uh, the end of part 1 of this chapter you will be able to see part 2 as well it has been uploaded to till then you stay home and stay safe below is the link to all ncert downloadable books you can download the books and read them see so till i meet you again bye take care